Hi and welcome to Add More Zest and my name's Rebecca and it's time to do some more of Cosmic Trip. So this painting is from Diamond Art Club. I've done quite a bit and I'm starting to get a lot more sections of colour. I think I'm about halfway if I just go by sort of the top of the painting um, and the do what makes you sparkle. I'm halfway or a little bit more than halfway because I'm absolutely loving it. Absolutely loving doing it. So let me get my first colour. Uh, I'm sort of part way through a section here and I've actually been working on some of my paint gem for the last couple of days and there's been a couple of reasons for that. One of them is um, I wanted to be able to de-kit my Love uh, paint gem set. It was kitted up uh, and taken to Australia with me so I feel like that's had long enough of being kitted up and needed to be finished off. Plus, because Cosmic Trip is so wide, I accidentally pulled it out last week's Whip and Chat, um, forgetting that I alternate between these and Dynamic Floral, and it was actually Dynamic Floral's turn. But when I first brought it in, to start working on it I was actually right at the beginning of a line and it was so hard to try and be able to zoom in um, to that section so I was kind of relieved when I realised that it was actually a week for doing dynamic floral instead um, so yeah I decided not to get too far past this middle section so that at least we can be zoomed in a bit more for you to be able to see and I'm not fighting with um, trying to have space for my iPad on the desk to read your comments and have space for the painting on the desk in the right angle because my camera is mounted above and that is on a fixed mount um, that shows the middle of my desk. So yeah, that, that worked out quite well. It means I will be de-kitting my love set as one of the videos for this week. And then next week I will get it, I will get the paintings put away. So that worked, it's all worked out in the end. Plus we get some colour. I feel like otherwise we end up getting near the end and there's not as much colour near the end. So it all works out well in the end. Um, I am using the Sunset Tray, which is our latest um, limited edition tray. This month is the first month that we have been able to print double the normal amount of stock that we have for a limited tray and it seems to be the right amount um, as I'm filming this which is Saturday morning I'm trying to get all my filming done on a Saturday and then Sunday as you're watching this is uh, the beginning of me packing some orders and it's Mother's Day in the UK. Um, so yeah, I'm actually filming this on Saturday morning and there is still a few left. So I thought, mm, I don't know how long they are going to last, um, but we'll use the tray anyway. Because it's pretty is the main reason. It's pretty, pretty. So, yeah. Oh, 
I am sorry I'm just half checking where I'm up to because we've got quite a few bits of colour um, I'm working with whatever is is at the bottom of here the most but then quite a few of them do transfer over into the next section when I was last working on it I actually had this section covered up but I've decided for today I know I also have quite a few comments and stuff so I thought for today let's open up a bigger section and it sort of works as being in the middle and we'll see how we go but yeah thank you all so much for your support with the launch it feels so weird that March is the first time we have launched a limited edition tray for this year or even really limited edition items um yeah it feels it feels really really weird and so different um we've been having loads of stock items coming in things that have been suggested and requested by people so we keep beavering away to bring those out to you as soon as we can um, we're trying to still keep everything pretty much on um, launch times. There's only the odd occasion we'll, we'll, we'll release something onto the website outside of a launch weekend. That tends to be if we bring out new variants, so like the Paint Gem mini sets. Um, Paint Gem brought out some new mini sets. So the new variants we added to the website. So we just added those. Uh, but we only tend to do it with stock that is going to be um, pretty much unlimited. You know, it may go out of stock, but it will come back into stock again. Uh, standard stock items. So we occasionally add something, but more often than not, we try to keep it to once a month. Having said that, when the paintings, when restocks of Zesty Wolf and Zesty Advent arrive, they will be going directly onto the website because they're restocks. So any restock or any sort of new variant of an item we already do, we tend more often than not to just put those up. Depends what it is because uh, I keep thinking to myself oh no we've got we've got an item that is that is a variant of what we've already got but it's also different enough to be part of a launch so like when we've launched the new pens or limited edition pens we don't just put those up because we sell pens already but yeah um so yeah thank you all so much for your support for this month's goodies orders will be on their way as soon as possible uh, we use an alternative courier at the moment for us orders um, which actually seem to be getting there quicker so they may continue to be our courier going forward because they're quicker uh, and we like we like orders to get to you as quick as possible um, but we can arrange it basically they come and collect it as long as we tell them every order before 12 so i think i'm going to be packing us orders tomorrow so i can arrange collection for monday and then all other orders i will pack on monday because we now have postal collections so i can still get those collected on monday as well but yeah that's a pretty much my or part of my updates. The other update, the other thing I did want to tell you is I know I spoke in one of my whip and chats last week about doing a tour of the shop room, uh, which was my craft room, but now houses all the shop stuff. And that was all in my schedule and truly my plan to do was to do a shop tour. I had everything ready. So I have a couple of things that may, um, that are in here that are in relation to the advent calendar. 
I had them covered up because we're not ruining surprises. So I had those covered up. I had everything sorted. Uh, Will had taken Luna so that I could film it without her trying to get in and get underfoot because she likes to do that. And then it actually was quite a nice day. It's the only video I decided to do on Sunday because the light was fading by the time I'd finished all the rest and I need decent light for it. So I went to do it on the Sunday and we actually had quite nice weather, which meant that the house behind us decided to have a mini, I don't know whether it was a mini gathering or whether it was just them and their kids, um, but they had some extremely inappropriate music playing that could be heard while filming. And there was a couple of occasions throughout the day where I thought that they had stopped that the music had stopped and within two minutes it started up again. So I wasn't able to film it on Sunday. Luna had a groomer's appointment booked for Wednesday. So I thought that's okay, I will drop her off at the groomer's, I will come back, I will film the shop tour and I will be able to get it up for Wednesday which is when it was planned for. Well poor Luna uh, has had a tummy bug. Uh, she was actually at the vets with us on Wednesday morning with this tummy bug not feeling too well. She's feeling loads better now. She's a lot more like herself now but we did have to move her groomer's appointment to next week because, yeah, we, we don't want to be passing on any sort of tummy bug. Plus, she wasn't feeling well. So, you know, she's not, she, she's tolerable of the groomers, but she's not necessarily the biggest fan of being abandoned uh, and mollycoddled by other people. So... I wasn't able to film it on Wednesday and Luna wanted lots of cuddles of course because that's how she goes immediately when she's not feeling well. So yes I was unable to get it up so that's why there was a video in effect missing on Wednesday so I do apologise for that. It is on my schedule to film today slash this weekend so I have it scheduled for is it Monday or Tuesday I have it scheduled for Monday so hopefully you should be able to see that tomorrow um, provided all goes well and there's no other spanners thrown into the works we should have a shop tour video um, going up tomorrow. So there will a couple, be a couple of shelves hidden, which just saves me clearing the shelves off and then putting everything back. Um, but yeah, you will get you will get enough sneak peeks probably in that video of things that are coming up in the next few months launches um, to be able to have enough things to make it make it an exciting watch but yeah I think that's all the updates that I have so but then again having said that I will probably find more as I go through the comments uh, but Lady Dax she says she ha now has 10 large paintings to do for their lounge and hallway so she is no longer in a rush for cosmic that's probably good i reckon it'll take a minimum of a few months for them to get cosmic back in stock 
I know it's taken us a few months for Zesty Wolf and Advent to come back into stock, though we did have Chinese New Year in with that as well, which can cause delays. Uh, she said she is so glad that she has a brain that works the same way as mine. She says when turning a diamond painting on its side. So Cosmic is currently on its side. But it's like it is like my brain automatically will flip the symbol round for when I go and find it. The only time I sometimes have to double check is arrows. If there's too many arrows or the same style of arrow, then I may double check that I am picking up the right one. But other than that, it's like they automatic. I, I look at this one and I automatically see an L. Uh, it's like my brain does the turning around or looking to the side. But yeah, it definitely makes it a bit easier. Uh, Lady Dax has also said that the size of the ones that she needs to do, uh, she said she might even need to go upside down at some point. Yeah, it takes it takes me a little bit longer when it's upside down, but I can read upside down. You know when somebody, you know, not fluently, should we say, if if you can read fluently. I can't read fluently upside down, but I can figure it out from upside down. Just might take me a minute or two longer or a few seconds longer, depending on how much it is. Uh, created Donna, she says, hi Rebecca, she says Autumn is doing a lot better now. She said it was hard work and exhausting being unwell and looking after a toddler. Oh yes, we all remember the mum life. Um, she said she hasn't managed to do much diamond painting because she's been giving Autumn mummy cuddles, which is probably the best thing for both of you is mummy cuddles uh, she said so she's been given her cuddles and watching movies she said towards the end of the week she did manage uh, to do a little bit but she is hoping to do some more tomorrow when autumn has her nap uh, she said she can't wait to see cosmic trip finished uh, as it's already looking amazing it is. The colours in it are so, so vibrant and I'm so excited. I'm excited to finish, but I'm also not because I am really enjoying doing it. Um, but there's definitely, you know, a bit of speed sometimes. Sometimes I think, whoa, have I actually finished that amount already? Because I just go speeding ahead. Uh, diamond painting because I want to see it finished. I want to see it all done. Um, <coughs> and then maybe I need to go look for a frame or something for it or trigger, try and figure out if I can find a standard size frame for it to go into um, because I think this one might be going up in our room. We shall see, but that is, that's the consensus at the moment. But you never know, things may change. Um, Craft out oh, Stephanie, she says she loves the idea of a tower for the trays. She said it would be nice if it could be taken apart and flat packed, uh, so it can be taken down when not needed. Uh, we do have a few samples that are on their way. Um, they may take a bit, but they are on their way. A couple of samples of things that are already uh, being manufactured that we think may work for our trays. Um, but we, I never quite know. I'm more of a visual person. Um, I want to actually see how they sit on properly. There's only a certain amount that I can do by measuring. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's a few things I want to check out 
before I can confirm that I'm totally happy um, and if they'll work at all. Um, but yeah, we've got a few other options in our heads if that doesn't work. The thing is, all these sorts of things just end up taking time. Sometimes I wish things moved a lot faster. But then again, you know, there's other times when, um, yeah, time just absolutely flies. And, you know, March is disappearing already. Luna is going absolutely ballistic, so I'm guessing the doorbell has gone. Which is probably some form of delivery um, for the shop or maybe for Megan. But yeah, she uh, gets very excited at the door, that's for sure. I do love the way these diamonds are fitting together, they're so much nicer. Uh, Charlotte, she says, she says she's sorry, but she's going to have to blame me. She says, when you were talking about how you spilt your AB diamonds, she says, do you want to know what happened to me? She said she spilt a bunch of diamonds all over herself and the table. Ooh, I will apologise for that one. If you were blaming me for purchasing some diamond painting that you'd seen, then... I don't think you'd get an apology, but I am sorry for that one. I'm still working through my tub of diamonds from these because I did drop my Star Raw box onto our hard wooden floor in the conservatory. And yeah, I have picked up all the diamonds, including ones that were hiding under some advent stock that was under the table. Um, and bit by bit, I am working my way through them as I get to a section that either needs. They're mainly rhinestones and number four AB, which is the green. And that's the reason this is some of this is done is because when I was doing these rhinestones, I tipped a little bit of the top with rhinestones and ABs mixed in. There's also the occasional number two AB in there, though not as many, which is also why there was a couple of them on here. Is as I've gone to do the rhinestone, I've tipped them in and I've basically put onto my canvas all that I can um, and then tried. I try and tip just a small amount in so that I can use up one of the colours and then tip the other colour back into the tub slowly but surely get them back in but it's taking his sweet time uh, I'm not I've not done it on camera just because there's there's dust in there as well um, there was one section of my floor where the diamonds landed that I hadn't dusted the day before uh, I hadn't pulled everything out from there and of course pulled everything out when the ABs went everywhere and managed to pick up a couple of little dust bunnies along with it. Um, so yeah, you, do, you don't need to see dust bunnies on camera, but believe me, they're there. They're there. That's just what happens with life. I do keep rubbing my hands over these because they are so pretty. They look so cute. And they line up really, really well. I say I do have a couple of diamonds that aren't as nice a quality. Primarily the one that I have the most of, which is 823. They're not the best quality diamonds, but a lot of the others are really, really nice. And they just fit. They just fit on the canvas, which is really nice. It makes uh, a painting more enjoyable and it means I can do it quicker. I have found with a couple of the paint gem uh, mini sets that I was finishing off, the Love mini sets, I was actually able to do it quite quickly because the diamonds lined up so nice. Um, if any were a little bit off, off, by the time I'd put in the rest surrounding it, they were fine again. They straightened themselves up 
uh, whereas if you've got gaps between diamonds I find they don't always straighten up as quick. Um, Laurie, she says she loves this diamond painting which was actually left on a cosmic whip and waffle. Um, she says she feels like she's almost doing the same thing as she's working on a diamond art club Amsterdam canal she says and it's just like it's so beautiful she says just like cosmic something or other uh, she says she's been meaning to write to me for a couple of weeks uh, she says she's having a problem with her trashy trays. She says they don't like being called trashy. She said here in the US, uh, trashy has a negative connotation. She says, so there are some hurt feelings, especially if a zesty and trashy are commented um, at the same time. So she said, so could you give me a lovely positive description for trashy so he'll quit throwing gems on the table she says she's tried to find a good one she says but evidently she has um very a very tiny english vocabulary she says according to him um english is her native language trashy with a personality uh, she says as you can see she says winter in minnesota is long she said and everything gets a bit edgy come march uh, and we have fresh storm warnings for the week i love your comments laurie i really do um trashy can also be called a touch of zest so we do have it listed as a touch of zest trashy tray. It sort of has ended up with both names rather than just one being ditched and another one being used. The zesty tray, when we first um, made the zesty tray, made the slightly smaller version. Uh, it was always known as the medium tray in this house. Don't ask why it got the name medium. There was never the, the thought of offering any smaller than Zesty. Um, but yeah, it ended up being called a medium on the files. And it's taken, it's taken a while. We still refer to them as both in this house though it is slowly but surely becoming zesty tray is the name of it more than medium um, but yeah trashy is the name it sort of got stuck with in this house but a touch of zest was suggested i think it was suggested by sam as a name so we have um named it both on the website so see if Zesty would prefer to be named a touch of zest um, and see if they like that one um, trash is primarily an, an American word uh, more than it is a UK one um, for us it's are you taking the rubbish out are you taking the bins out rather than are you taking the trash out Maybe that's why trashy uh, it doesn't seem to be as much of a name like bin as it is um, in the UK. If we just called it bin or binny, I don't think it would have the same effect for us. But yeah, try a touch of zest. See if he likes that one. Uh, Lusa says, hi, Rebecca. Says, first time commenting. Uh, but a bit longer time watching. She says, sorry for the length of it. I'm more than happy to read out the longer comments. I am just going to change my colour before I do, though, because I need to move on to the letter L. Uh, she says, thanks to my awesome tutorial uh, she's recently started working on her own heaven and earth design um, which is mini penerdon by land daniels 
she says so thank you so much for the work that you've done on these videos she says she's amazed that you can film talk and finish a six by two in an hour on my heaven and earth design uh, this comment is left on one of my general whip and chats but um it does contain talk about a lot of the heaven and earth design um she says it takes her at least two hours on a good day i do find i get faster because i'm doing a heaven and earth design section each day i find i'm definitely getting faster with it um, the familiarity with the symbols and the numbers and all that sort of stuff can really help um, to speed things up but I am in general a quick diamond painter in the scheme of things there are people that are quicker but I am in general quite quick at diamond painting when I'm doing it um, which helps because it helps me keep my content going for the channel which would be a lot harder if I was a slow diamond painter that's for sure uh, she said so she didn't have too much inkling to do uh, a section today she said but then my video came out uh, so she dutifully set up and did one too. She said, thank you for the inspiration. Oh, I'm glad I could help you. There are definitely days I haven't thought I could get on uh, with my section. I know Friday this week, uh, Luna was back in at the vets on Friday morning after her stomach bug just to check that you know it wasn't a blockage or anything else and it was just a bug sorry rude camera battery then that decided to stop quite quick um yeah so on friday luna was in the groomers at half past eight just to check everything you know was okay and it was just a stomach bug and when i came back home i was just like oh oh I need to do my heaven and earth design and because I'd already been up and out and normally I do my heaven and earth design first thing in the morning while sort of waking up I nearly left it and then I was like nope we've been out first thing you know we've had to get up and out early to get us sorted let's just restart my day so I went and put a load of washing on and all that sort of stuff and just pretended it was, pretended I'd not long got out of bed <laughs> and did it that way. Um, and that's what got me doing my heaven and earth design section on Friday. Uh, but yeah, there has been the odd couple of days where I'm like, oh, do I, do I, don't I? Um but I'm happy to say I have been doing it all through the week. I am very nearly uh, hit the 700 mark, which I think I'll actually be finishing. I'll be hitting the 700 mark on the Heaven and Earth Design Whip and Chat. Um, so it, when I look back at things like that and think, well, if I didn't move myself, I wouldn't have done it. Or if I'd have moved myself on earlier weeks when I was a bit slow and missed a few days, I would be past the 700 mark already. Um, it sort of spurs me on to keep going, doing a section each day. Uh, she says she cannot wait to see the finished piece when it's done. She says she, it's so exciting. She said her flatmates are already discussing where it should be hung in the house uh, she said she hopes that i got the new update for pattern keeper which i have now thank goodness she said she got it wednesday night she says she's not gonna lie she says she absolutely loves it she says when she searches for a symbol now it doesn't jump to the sidebar it just highlights it uh, she said hopefully by the time the next video comes out the weather will be warmer she says and we'll have some sunshine we actually had a little bit of sunshine this morning first thing it was really nice 
Um, we had the conservatory doors open. Luna was loving it. And then the rain came and it brought the cold with it. <coughs> so it keeps threatening spring, but it is not quite getting there at all. Right, I'm just going to do a refresh because it's not allowing me for some reason to mark the comments that I've already read out. Um, there we go. I'm catching up now. Okay, Anne-Marie. Uh, oh, we're on the talks of sausage rolls. Again, I know we discussed discussed sausage rolls last week um, and there has been quite a few comments giving suggestions which is good and it's what I love about the conversations they just sort of flow from one thing to another uh, but Anne-Marie she says usually chips which are fries uh, she says and baked beans with sausage rolls baked beans is a good idea I actually got to have one of my favourite meals of the other day, which is basically baked beans on toast with cheese. Grated cheese sprinkled all over the top. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, she says she likes to have that or that that's a good meal for a quick meal for dinner. Um, she says she's loving the painting, which is dynamic floral. This comment was on. Uh, she said, can she you ask how long did it take to arrive? Because uh, she's waiting on hers. I'm afraid I don't know, Anne-Marie. Um, it actually was ordered, or it's ordered directly through K-tiered, i.e. they put the order through um, because they wanted to gift it to me for an unboxing. <clears throat> and I do think I do think it arrived within a week but I don't know if you know what steps they take like whether that's their normal ordering process um, for it to arrive I don't know which channel they use because I know they do have some things on Amazon so I don't know whether it was a stock item on Amazon at the time and they actually sent it through Amazon, which means I will have received it quicker than if it was sent through normal post or through you know, a different avenue. So unfortunately, I don't know for that one. Um, Sarah B has said thank you for the suggestion to Anne-Marie. Um, she says she'll have to try fries or chips, she says, as you and Rebecca suggested, and baked beans. She says she will report back as to how her baking adventure goes. Baked beans is a good one to have with it. I agree. Sausage roll with baked beans and chips, which see, we call fries for us tend to be the thinner, skinnier ones chips tend to be the fatter ones the big pieces of potato not mcdonald's fries um but yeah proper chunks uh darcy she said she found the craft mate containers in hobby lobby um, and they come in a set of two she says but without the holding case so they're the that's the storage that i have been using for my dynamic floral is the craft mates. Uh, she says she's thought about grabbing them until she has a set. She says because they have humongous containers too. They do, they are really big and they are really good in the fact that they lock so that if you drop them, um, you know, they've got a locking mechanism that you have to press before you can open the top of the container. So the design of it overall is really good. What frustrates me personally is when the diamonds, um, when you're tipping the diamonds out, I don't know, I've not paid enough attention to know whether it is due to the amount of diamonds that are in the pot, 
it definitely seems to be worse with ones that are fuller um but they can the diamonds because they're so small can end up within that lock mechanism and it's sort of getting them out so that you can close it properly that's what can get a little frustrating for me um is I feel like I'm fishing out diamonds a few times because of it but the concept of them is great and I think it's one of those that you either you know if you tend to drop containers often or maybe have pets or children that knock them often then that's a very slight inconvenience that really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things uh, because it's loads safer um, but because I don't tend to have that problem if I'm going to drop them it tends to be myself that does it <laughs> so it's my own silly fault um, yeah they're just slightly annoying they do work for certain projects um, and I don't think I'm going to get rid of the storage I just don't think it's my favourite <coughs> right oh ABs we're on some number three AB so let me get my AB pen wrong side bad side I've squooshed this pen tip so many times you can sort of warm it a little bit with your hands to get it into a bit more of a point I'm not ready to replace the tip yet because I know full well I'm just going to flatten it as I go because I tend to flatten it really quick after putting a series of ABs and it's because I'm pushing the diamonds down too hard trying to click them into place and it's not a good thing what I should do is actually take both ends off the pen so that I can use this side to push the diamonds where I want them to go and I tend to find my pen tip lasts a lot longer when I do that it's just not quite as comfy to hold with both ends taken off but I think that's just me being fussy to be honest but I've got one here that I know I'm going to need to nudge a little bit just because this one was a little bit off sync, off kilter. So if I get that one pushed over, then the rest should sit in quite nicely. I've got another one with this row above. I can already see there's a little gap between the two yellows. This one I did it on the actual AB itself. This one here, if I push that one over. And I should be all right getting the rest in. Um, Kathy, she said, good morning. She said she just wanted to let me know how much she enjoys watching my channel. She says she loves hearing all the different things that you do in the UK. Uh, she says you've just made my diamond painting more enjoyable. Oh, thank you, Kathy. I love hearing from you guys as well how how things can be different in different countries and I love the fact that you know stuff can just come up in effect randomly as well um I mean I say random you know it's it's intentional from people and it is questions that they have but it can be a really nice mix and then it can lead to conversations from other people that sort of flow into different things and then even as I thought even as I was replying chips fries like we we do use both words but they do mean different things to us in the UK and sometimes I forget you know and I, and I feel like yeah I enjoy it when we get to discuss things like that and I get to explain why they're different in the UK um so chips you know go into a chippy it's nice thick thick cut chips and then fries tends to more be 
what Bye Gunnel serves the little skinny ones. Still potatoes, but skinny potatoes tend to be fries, or at least they do in our house. Uh, Liz, she says, thanks, Rebecca. She says she lives in South Yorkshire. Uh, she said the snow started where she was on Wednesday lunchtime. She said, and they had uh, snow last night, Saturday. They, yeah, they had a bit of a thaw on Friday afternoon and yesterday. Uh, she says she still has a couple of patches left but most of it has now gone see that's what I couldn't believe about last weekend so we were having snow absolutely freezing it was on Saturday and then Sunday we've got you know the house over the back having a mini party time on Sunday stopping me filming and the weather was glorious it's like make your mind up uh, she says there are definitely both size limited edition trays she said with her name on um, she says uh, and a pen with her name on she said her arm will be set for 8 55 p.m so she's ready to place her order as soon as they've launched oh thank you Liz well your order will be out on Monday uh, for UK postage now we just do track 24 because we now get post collected uh, which ensures we can get it out the quickest possible uh, so more often than not any orders probably paste before one um, UK and international apart from the states tends to go out the same day uh, for the states, if it's placed before probably about 9 or 10 o'clock UK time, will go out the same day. Otherwise, it will go out next day. Uh, just because that courier also collects, they're not local or not local enough for me to just bob around the corner and drop it off. Um, but they also collect as long as I get the request into them early enough so yeah hopefully i'll be packing all the us orders tomorrow and get that request in for a collection on monday and then the rest can get collected on monday as a as standard setup because they just turn up every day royal mail now whether whether there's post or not though I think I've only turned them away, I think, yesterday, because it was yesterday, which was Friday for me, because it was the day before launch. I think that's the only day I ever tend to turn tell them I've not got anything, is one day before launch. And it's like, oh, nothing today. But you're getting it all on Monday. Pre-warm them. You're getting the sacks full on Monday. Um... Jeanette, she says, <laughs> hi, Rebecca. She says, when you said that you're doing another craft room tour, uh, she thought she can play I Spy uh, with my little eye, something new and exciting. Yes, you will be able to play a little bit of I Spy um, when I do the craft room tour. There is a few things that I you know, I'm purposely not making a conscious effort to hide. Um, so I do know they're there because I also do know that people enjoy, you know, the sneaky being able to see things. Um, but there is some stuff, of course, things that um, revolve around Advent primarily. Um, that are staying secret. They're definitely staying secret, even though I'm so excited and want to tell the world it's too early. It's way too early for that. Um, Olivia, 
says she usually has sausage rolls as a snack uh, but she does tend to have them with a squirt of sauce too and some crisps mm. definitely as a lunchtime crisps is a good one um, to have them with and as I say a cake normally followed up sausage roll followed by cake is normally the way to do it well it is when you pick them up at Greg's anyway um, Amy she says she would say start the multi places she said on the black first uh, she says as you can get gaps on the white ones she says but once you're used to doing the multi places she said it doesn't gap as much um, she says she loves her multi places but she still ends up with times uh, where all she wants to do is single place <laughs> Um, Irene says that the floral one is so sparkly. It definitely is. I have to lift that floral one up to different angles um, because the light just hits it in so many different ways. Uh, well and truly, in lots of different ways. Um, Anna, she says, try one of the new nail art pens from your shop she says when doing crystal drills she says she uses a similar pen when she does crystals or ab's uh, and she says and she thinks they work better i definitely use the pickup pen with ab's um i tend to find a lot of the time that rhinestones will pick up the same way whether I use the glue dot pen or the wax pen, provided my glue pop dot's not dodgy. And I think my glue dot was a little bit dodgy, um, whereas it's been topped up and is behaving a lot better now than it was. Right, did I get all of them? I think I did. I think I did. Scoot you across a bit. See, we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. Uh, Stephanie, she says, hi, Rebecca. She says she's been watching the videos. She says, but at the moment, she's been a bit quiet with her comments. Um, she says she has a question. She says she bought a black pen from Admorzest and absolutely love it. She says, love it so much, she just ordered the pink pen this weekend. She says, my question is, she says, have you thought about selling um, the sponge that goes over the pen? Um, so that is like the little grip sponge that you can use over the edge of the pen. Um, that's not something we've thought of, but it is something that I'm happy to look into see if we can get some of those from our supplier and have a little selection for those that like to use the little grips yeah i'm more than happy to look into that i'll put it on my to to check list um, we do keep trying to you know expand the range and have things in you know that people may want from time to time so that they can get lots and lots of different accessories when they're placing their order with us. So yeah, more than happy to look into that one. Right, I've got W here. There's hardly any W that she used in this, but there is just the odd little occasion where we end up with just this little bit of brown. Not all the time, but just the odd little bit of brown. It's mainly blue. Uh, Army Moa, she says after a year, uh, she's finally mastered multi-placing. Uh, she got a curved multi-placer. She says she only uses it when doing colour blocking since she had um, a whip that was 75% um, black. 
she says, but oh my uh, goodness, she was shocked that she could finally do it um, and that she didn't have to nudge everything into place with a straightener. Uh, she says she'll be practicing on squares next. She says progress has skyrocketed uh, and maybe she will actually finish a project this month. She says it doesn't help that she has six diamond paintings on the go. Uh, she says sometimes just deciding which one to work on is too much of a decision. Uh, that she just decides to sit on her craft table and watch YouTube. Maybe having six isn't working for you. Um, I, I can completely get the feeling. I love having multiple ones on the go. Um, though I do find that I still often just focus on the one. Primarily, it's only occasionally that I will switch over. And this is not including my heaven and earth design because that is a one section a day kind of painting. Um, but if you're finding that you're possibly unknowingly or subconsciously getting overwhelmed with having six, maybe you need to just put the rest aside and just have one out for a while and see if that helps you because then the decision's made because sometimes when you're diamond painting you're diamond painting to switch off you don't have to make a decision to be able to switch off you've already made a decision to switch off so you just want to do it so maybe try stashing the rest away and just focusing on one uh, Debbie, she says, hi Rebecca, she says, sorry that she hasn't commented, that's fine, you only comment if you have something to say or if you want to. Um, I know there are a lot of people that just watch, whether it be because they're watching on the TV or, you know, they're, diamond pa they're too busy diamond painting to comment, that's fine. Um, I do like it if you can give it a little like before you leave and move on to the next. But don't stop your flow. Um, if you're enjoying diamond painting and you've just set things to play and they just continue, then fair dues. Uh, she says she's been, oh, she's been ill. She says then she moved house. Um, she says, but she does love all of the videos um, and the heaven and earth design. She says she's just finishing off her owl and wolf, 100 by 100. And then she's doing the reading tree um, for her son's girlfriend's daughter's school. Oh, wow. Many plans. Uh, I hope you are feeling better now, though, um, and that the move has gone well. Every time somebody says they moved, it just sends shivers down my spine, the thought of moving from this house. Um, not that I wouldn't, you know, enjoy a bigger house, um, you know, with more space or more suited to our needs. It's, it's not that. It's the thought of packing everything in this house. It's just frightening. Uh, Nellie, she says, hi, Rebecca. She says she doesn't do her paintings in sort of the scattered here and there uh, as she can't see the symbols. She says she goes with letters or numbers from the last row. Um, she's done. And that's awesome. That is what works for some people better than others. I know especially on that dynamic floral, it would probably work a lot better. Um, and the last sort of section that I started doing, I was consciously um, picking symbols that if they got buried around diamonds would be harder to see, um, to try and make life easier. But because at the moment I'm only doing that painting every other week, I forget by the time I next do it. So 
Next Saturday or Sunday, when I go to do a whip and chat on dynamic floral, I will have probably forgotten which symbols I need to do first to make life easier for myself. Um, though when I do, you know, a decent section on it, maybe when I've finished Cosmic, I will, you know, spur through the rest of that one. I'm sure I will start to remember which symbols are hard to see and which aren't. Um, Aubrey, she says, have you ever done a kit from Diamond Painting Deutschland or Uniquely Yours Down Under? Um, no, I haven't. Um, Diamond Painting Deutschland is one that has been recommended to me often. And it is sort of one that's on my, you know, to-do list, uh, sort of unwritten down list that's in my head. It is somewhere that I would like to try um, to get a painting from because I have heard many good things about it. I just have so many in my stash at the moment and so many that are sent to me. Um, that sometimes, you know, I just forget to go checking out the other places or I feel guilty going and getting more diamond paintings when I already have so many in my stash um, because I do have, yeah, quite quite a few in in my stash at the moment. And I know I've just added Cosmic to it and frankly I still blame that completely on Melissa uh, because if she hadn't tagged me in it I probably wouldn't have seen it and got so excited over it. Um, but it's all good because I do love it and I did get excited over it. Um, but yeah that's the main reason I haven't is just my stash is so big at the moment and it keeps getting added to with new ones that companies want to promote and things like that that yeah I just haven't got around to it also I'm so busy with the shop as well that it, it I'm not sort of sat there and it enters my head and I go browsing and um, I tend to have a very busy and full day uh, and a very long list of things that need to be done um, that yeah it's, it's just not had chance to enter my head as much as it may have done in the past when it was just YouTube that I was that I was doing whereas YouTube takes a lot of time with the planning the doing and the editing uh, and getting things uploaded and then also the the shop is also pretty much they're, they're both close to being full-time jobs um, that I am well the shop definitely is a full-time job YouTube is close to being a full-time job that I try to fit in primarily on the weekend uh, and then a lot of the admin stuff because it's amazing how much admin there is behind both sides of the business uh, a lot of the admin stuff also takes up, you know, a huge chunk of time. I just haven't got around to it. Um, uniquely Yours Down Under, I haven't ordered from. Um, my mum has ordered, my mum ordered her blank canvas from them. Um, and they were helpful um, in relation to some diamonds that she wanted to purchase as well um but no i haven't i haven't even apart from finding the website to recommend to people who want a blank canvas um in australia i haven't gone looking uh, and i should because there are a few places i want to see what ever moments new canvases and stuff are like so maybe i need to have a little bit of a shopping splurge um, on a few different things and companies that people want to see um, and maybe do that as some videos over the next 
few months maybe um yeah i will i will try and keep that further forward in my mind to go and have a nosy and possibly a little shopping spree uh angel she says she would jump at the chance to get a black and white mixed tray she says panda thief I've still not seen a black and white. I will keep an eye out, but I, just to let you know, I haven't seen one. Um, whether it's something to do with the way the colours mix before it prints, maybe it has an effect because they're two such varying different colours. I don't know, um, but I will keep an eye out. Uh, she says the Chris, this crystal diamond painting, she said, is gorgeous. She says, thank you for all that you and your family do. Oh, thank you. Jackie, she says she thinks the phrase that I was looking for is viaduct arches. Yes, it is. That's what these are, viaduct arches. I think I mentioned that I was just beginning one on last week's so now I am just this is finishing up one of the viaduct arches of which I think there's four before it gets to the end of the painting um Grey Legrand she says she might try glue dots she says do people use them um in multi-placing yes um you can it does get a bit harder I think when you get to the higher number multiplacers for glue dots um, but I have successfully put glue dots in I think it's a three and a four placer that I did do some multiplacing with though I haven't you know truly got in the habit enough to consciously do it more I have to sort of it's something I have to think of rather than something I just do. Um, what I tend to find the best way to put glue dots into a multi-placer is to take the glue dot off the packaging and sort of roll it a little bit, roll it between your fingers into a sausage um, and then pop it into your multi-placers, though you will probably need more. Um, I think I put, I might have just got away with two in a three placer to start off with, two sausages. Um, but then as it goes along, you may find once they pat down a little bit that you need to add another one or two. But seeing as they tend to come in boxes of 300, you should have plenty. Uh, jo says, well, her curiosity got the better of her. Uh, and Snickers got hold of one of her dot box containers. She said, good thing that the only damage uh, was saliva marks on the sticker sheet. She says, uh, the Lego separator tool uh, was as lucky last week. She says, it has a hole in it now. Uh, and her hand definitely felt those teeth. Ooh. she says thank you for another great waffle yeah Luna likes to bite things she loves her um, yak chews she also loves um, is it a coffee stick like a big wooden stick um, it's a coffee chew I think coffee coffee wood or something um, but yeah, she loves to chew on those, but then occasionally she does chew on something she shouldn't. Um, I did lose a MacBook wire when she was a pup, though she doesn't touch wires or anything like that now. I think it was just her very vicious puppy teeth. Um, apart from that, she did attack the corner of her bed the other day, but she was being, she was being a toad that day. Is probably the easiest way to describe it. She was being a little minx. Um, 
Billy. She says it's Tuesday evening here in Ohio as she's leaving this comment. She says they got about five centimetres of snow overnight. Oh my goodness me, I don't think we've ever got that much here. Um, she says, and it was beautiful. She says it's melted mostly now. That's good. Snow should come, look pretty, and then go away when you need to get on with the rest of your day. <laughs> uh, she says she's on the last row of Violin Girl which she hopes to finish soon uh, before the Diamond Art Studio UK event. Uh, she says she might try to do a small painting next. Uh, she said the canvas um, painting is so sparkly and she loves the new tray and pen. Uh, she says, have a wonderful week. Thank you, Billy. It has been a good week, apart, well, Apart from Luna having a tummy bug, apart from that, it has been a good week. It's been a good, productive week, which always makes me feel better uh, to have a good, productive week. I just wish I didn't feel quite as tired today. I felt like I could get more done would be nice. Um... The life of Katie. She said, hi, Rebecca. She said she's loving this painting. Uh, she says the colour contrast is beautiful. Uh, she's just finished Rapunzel from Diamond Art Club. Uh, she is commenting on an older picture, an older whip and waffle of Cosmic Trip, by the way. just That's the picture she was referencing. Uh, she says she's just finished Rapunzel from Diamond Art Club. Uh, and now she started her first ever mystery painting and she's not sure how she feels about it. <laughs> Working on a black and white canvas is definitely different. Um, I think the only, well, there's a couple of reasons I've never bought a Diamond Art Club mystery canvas. A couple of reasons for it. Oh, have I just dropped one there? Yes, I did. I've got a 939 that was hanging around the blacks. Okay, just checking I have got all the 939s, which I have. I've just, for goodness sake. So I've just picked up my pot to tip my diamonds out my tray into it. And I pick the pot up that sort of quick and lurched it towards myself, I managed to throw some diamonds out while I was doing it. Oh, entertaining. Um, yeah, so there's a couple of reasons. Is One, while I know some of the artists, a lot of the artists that have been in the mystery paintings, and this isn't all of them, so it tends to be ones that are on the website when I go and browse, more so than you know, me pouncing on every mystery that they release. I tend to just have a look at the ones they've got on the site. And I've never liked, like, all the paintings they do enough. It, it's been like I've liked one or two of the paintings that that artist does, but not enough of them to warrant getting a mystery that I don't know what it is. Whereas if it was an artist that I loved, then I might be like, well, yeah, you know, I like a lot of their paintings, so it's worth the risk. The other thing is the cost. Um, part of me would much rather spend that money on another heaven and earth design canvas, which is very much like a mystery, even though you know what the painting is. Um, you can get it with black and white symbols, so it feels like a mystery, um, and I get to use more of my spares up. Um, so yeah, I've never actually done one of their mysteries. I may do in the future. Um, I think it would kind of be an interesting video to do one of theirs. Uh, I just need to wait until 
what would maybe swing it is if there's an artist that I liked enough of their paintings to be willing to invest in a mystery one. Um, she says... Uh, she says she does like to know what picture she's doing, but also she says not knowing is fun too. It is one of those, isn't it? It's like you want to be able to know what the painting is, confirm that you like it, and then have it erased from your memory so that you can enjoy it knowing that you're going to like the picture. That's what you want from a mystery painting. Uh, she says she's looking forward to seeing the end result of Cosmic Trip. Well, I'm working on it as much as I can. Uh, I will be working on it some more this evening. Hobby is out at a stag do. And uh, me and Megan have a night with diamond painting planned and watching Sort Your Life Out, uh, the UK TV show with Stacey Solomon, where they basically empty somebody's house into a warehouse, lay everything out and try and get them to get rid of 50% of their stuff. Sometimes a little bit more, but normally it's they try to get rid of about 50% of their stuff. Then they do some reorganisation work in the person's house to help make it better for them. Because UK houses aren't huge. And if you get, especially if you get into some cities, they can be really quite small. Um, I mean, ours is not a big house, but I have seen houses that have smaller likes of front rooms and bedrooms and storage can, can not be fun. Um, yeah, so they do more storage solutions and they basically put everything back in their house that they've kept. Uh, and yeah, we it's our little series that me and Megan watch together. Um, so yeah, we plan on doing that this evening. So I'll be working on a bit more of this. I would expect to at least get this row done this evening. Um, because I've nearly done what is two sections while on this whip and chat. And while I will be wrapping this whip and chat up soon, because I have more videos to do, um, I do think I should be able to get this darker part at the bottom finished off. And then the next time I get to paint, I get up near another fire duct arch. Okay, let's have a look if we got any more. We do have a few more comments on whip and chats. So let's crack and, oh, we've got a couple of colours that just need the odd one or two. Uh, but Megan says you can get mini sausage rolls. She says which she prefers to use for appetizers along with other little foods. She says, but she usually eats sausage rolls with soup. Oh, that's a good option, sausage rolls with soup. I like that one. Yeah, we tend to, mini sausage rolls, tend to be sort of a party or a buffet snack more so in our house than anything else um but yeah mini sausage rolls are awesome oh that may have been the last comment on a whip and chat i think everything else is on heaven and earth designs so I'm just going to do a quick check that I've not missed any while I put down these ABs. If I could open the right end of my pen, which proved to be... A, I tend to set my pen down in a certain... in the same orientation um, on my case when I have finished so that I know which end to open. It's just becoming a habit now. But because I'm doing this whip and chat, I didn't put it down in the usual place. So I'm gonna put it back in the usual place so that I remember where it is. Um, but yeah, I think all the rest of the comments are on a heaven and earth design, which 
I'm a little bit behind, I'm not too bad, but I definitely need to try and get through some next time. Let's bob in those two just to finish it up for today. Just to get those missing two, or those two little ones up the top before I then move on to what are quite, there's a couple of lighter colours but a lot of them is the letter P and stuff. So what I'll probably do if I zoom you out again just to show you, but we were over here when we started so we've done quite a decent chunk is when I work on it later I will probably peel these two off and actually do the likes of the letter P and the black and stuff and then I'll have a lot of colour to do near the end um, but that is quite, that's actually got quite a bit more colour in than it normally does uh, quite often these sections while they have a little bit of colour there's not loads of it, loads of it is dark but yeah that is that part for today so I'm going to scoot this over just a little bit so that I have a bigger section here that I can pop this cover sheet on and then I'll overlap that back again and that keeps the part that I've not done covered ready for tonight but yeah I'm loving it so stay tuned say so hopefully I will have the shop tour video um, done for tomorrow all going well and I'll be back with of course more whip and chats and lots of other videos as well but thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon